back to my life. Basically, my neighbor Gatsby has these extravagant parties every weekend. There's loud music, there's a ton of people, and it's just plain crazy. And I hear it all the time, and from what I have heard recently, a lot of people know him. And I have actually never attended the parties, but I actually received an invitation, so I will be going to this party. Whoa. Who are all these people? Hey, do you know where I can find the host, Mr. Gatsby? Oh, <laughs> no one knows Mr. Gatsby. What? Do you guys know where he could be? Uh, well, I was invited and... Whoa, this is embarrassing. Well, I guess I have nothing to do but to get boring drunk. Nick! Hello! I thought I might find you here. I remember you live next door to him. Uh, yeah, I was actually invited, but seems I was the only one. <laughs> no one gets invited to Gatsby's. Everyone just shows up. Hmm. Hey, you don't know who we are, but um, <laughs> we met you here like a month ago. Oh yeah, come to parties often. Probably only where I met you at. Right, Lucille? Yeah. So, uh, what do we know about Gatsby? Well, somebody told me that they thought he killed a man once. I don't think it's so much that. I think it's more that he was a German spy during the war. Oh yeah, I heard that from a man who grew up with him in Germany. Oh no, it couldn't be that, because he was in the American army during the war. I bet he killed a man. Oh, uh, wow. This is some pretty serious tea. Pretend that's what I'm drinking. <laughs> Let's get out. Maybe we can find some answers. Um... Yeah. Uh, you know, the books thing was just really weird. Yeah, I know, but they were real, so... <laughs> yeah. Hello. Uh, hi. <laughs> Your face is familiar. Weren't you in the 1st Division during the war? Why, yes, I was in the 28th Infantry. I was in the 16th until June 1918. I knew I'd seen you somewhere before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to go with me to the shore sometime, old sport? Uh, yeah, sure. What time? Any time that suits you best. Hey, so, uh, what's your- <laughs> Are you enjoying yourself now? Oh, yes, greatly. You know, this is an unusual party for me. I haven't even seen the host. I live over there. And then this man named Gatsby sent his chauffeur over with an invitation. What? <laughs> you see, old sport. I'm Gatsby. Whoa, wh what? <laughs> I thought you knew, old sport. I'm afraid I'm not a very good host. Oh, uh, I, I beg your pardon. I <laughs> I didn't really know what to think at that moment, but I just knew that he was different. He was different in his smile and just who he was. <laughs> Mr. Gatsby, Chicago is calling for you on the wire. Oh, okay. If you want anything, just ask for it, old sport. Excuse me and I will join you later. Wow, I, I just... <laughs> unexpected, I could say. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah. Miss Baker, I beg your pardon, but Mr. Gatsby would like to speak with you alone. With me? Yes, madam. Look, I am tired of debating this with you, but we are leaving. <laughs> You're so mean! Oh my god. Yes, yes. Goodbye. Nick! Nick, I just heard the most amazing thing. How long were we in there? Why, about an hour. It was simply amazing, and I have to tell you about it. I, 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 I have to go, but we will discuss this after. What, uh, I, uh, I guess I can stay at the last of the guess. How are things, old sport? Oh, uh, they are just fine. I would like to apologize again for not knowing you back out in the garden. <laughs> don't mention it. Don't give it another thought, old sport. And don't forget, we're going up in the hydroplane tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Oh, I... Philadelphia wants you on the phone, sir. Oh, right. Just a minute. Good night. Good night. Oh my god! <laughs>